Christine Easton, age 19. A 19-year-old woman disappears while washing a car at a California car wash. January the 18th, 1971. At just 19 years old, Christine Marie Easton was just starting off as an independent young woman. She had recently graduated from Sunset High School and had just started classes at Shabbat College, where she frequently acted in school plays. She was popular on campus. Her friends described her as being very sweet, beautiful, a very gentle spirit, and a very kind person. On the evening of January the 18th, 1971, Christine invited her friend Sandy to visit a local Mervyn's store so she could buy a new pair of boots. Sandy agreed, and the pair spent a few hours shopping before Christine dropped Sandy off at her home at around 9.30 p.m. Afterwards, Christine stopped by her house for a short period of time and told her parents her plan for the rest of the evening. She told her parents that she was going to go wash her car, a 1969 Ford Maverick. Then she was going to pick up her boyfriend from his job at a local jack-in-the-box, George Sponsel. Later that night, George places a call to Christine's home, sharing his concern that Christine had never arrived to pick him up. The following morning, her car was found at Charlie's Car Wash, parked near the vacuums. After someone reports the driverless car, investigators arrived on the scene and noted several strange details. Investigators noted that the car had recently been washed. The doors were locked and her, Christine's personal belongings, including her purse, were inside of the vehicle. Police also noted that there were papers strewn on the pavement next to the passenger's side door, leading them to believe that foul play may have been involved. It seems that there were no answers for new information around Christine's case in the 28 years that passed since her disappearance until 1999. Although a small piece of information, investigators believed that by releasing an age-progressed image of Christine, it may lead to more answers. In 2005, things seemed to heat up once again. A $50,000 reward was offered by Arnold Schwarzenegger, the then governor of California. After the reward is announced, a billboard is funded and set up in late February of 2005 near the car wash where Christine disappeared. Things went quiet again until not to, in 2019. Sometime in 2019, an unidentified witness came forward to investigators to explain what they had witnessed on the night of Christine's disappearance. According to this witness, they had witnessed two men abduct Christine at the car wash before driving off in a white van. The witness was only able to get a clear look at the driver of the van, while the other put Christine into the back of the van. The witness described the van as having a distinctive rectangular side mirrors that are known as West Coast mirrors. That September, a sketch of the suspect was released to the public. Um, I'll stop right here and give my own thoughts on that. Why did this person not come forward all these years? Was it because of the $50,000 reward that was up for grabs? Um, and did they n not know that they probably should have called the police? Did they not hear on the news for weeks or months or even years after this that a woman was missing? Were they afraid to come forward or was this whole story just made up? The latest update in Christine's case came in January of 2020 when investigators made a public plea for information. There is currently a $50,000 reward being offered for information leading to the individual responsible for her disappearance. Her sister Vicky continues to search for answers even though it's been over 50 years since she last saw her sister. 
When she was last seen, Christine had blonde hair, blue eyes. She was around five foot seven and weighed around 130 pounds. She was last seen wearing a black or brown leather coat, black boots, blue slacks, a red, white, and blue pinstripe tunic with a bluish gold scarf. If you have any information, contact Detective Ryan Sprague of the Hayward Police Department at 510-293-7176. You may also anonymously submit any tips to the FBI tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI.